Being an NPC or non-player character is pretty much the worst job you can have in a video game. I mean, apart from whichever cop in GTA V's police department has to fill out the paperwork for every single five-star incident. You see, these poor NPCs have to put up with us, the terrible player, ruining their otherwise quiet and simple pre-programmed lives. Imagine all you're trying to do is walk a set path or deliver a simple line of dialogue when this keeps happening. Here are the things you do to wind up NPCs, because the alternative was, I guess, playing the game properly? Hey, what's up, man? What you doing? There's nothing more irritating than someone offering you a high five only to cruelly snatch it away from you. Hey, Ellen, high five! Oh. Too slow! Oh. Now imagine if that sweet high five was actually a car ride and instead of quickly snatching it away, someone drove away from you really slowly but before you could get in. Well, this is exactly what we've done in every open world game that requires you to drive some NPC to the other side of the map. Don't you judge me, you've all done it. It begins innocently enough. We lead a character to a vehicle with the promise of the passenger seat, but then, instead of waiting, we put our foot on the accelerator. But we don't just drive off. Instead, we go at jogging speed. Like a carrot on a stick just beyond a donkey's nose, the target is kept just out of reach, and we allow those poor NPCs to get tantalisingly close before speeding up again. <laughs> what? But don't get too mad at us or yourself, as you can also do this the guilt-free way, driving slowly away from a mean NPC who's trying to pull you out of your car to beat you up. Bonus points if you manage to get them to grab the handle and pull them along. Sometimes I don't know, man. Ah! Excuse me. Sure, they were probably after you because you either stole their car or shoulder barged them and made them drop their bean machine coffee, but they're attacking you now, so guilt-free? Plus, this is a lot less risky in video games than in the real world because you won't run over someone's actual foot and spend your YouTube channel's annual budget on legal fees. Wait, what? <laughs> what is it? I'm in the middle of a critical test. Sorry, dog, but look who's here. Great Scott! Gordon Freeman! I expected more warning. Yeah, you and me both, Doc. He was about to board the express to Nova Prospect. Well, Barney, what do you intend? You know, just because we love a fast-paced video game doesn't mean that we have a short span of attention. Hey, there's a bird outside! What, a bird? Yeah. Where? But to be fair, most games aren't designed to encourage prolonged bouts of solemn contemplation. I mean, you can't expect lightning quick motor reflexes one minute, then for us to put on our serious listening faces the next. Overwatch stopped our train in the woods and took my husband for questioning. They said he'd be on the next train. I'm not sure when that was. As such, is it any wonder that sometimes our attention tends to, well, wonder? It's me, Gordon. Barney from Black Mesa. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I'm listening. I'm just gonna go over here. When an NPC's role is to have a lengthy conversation or explain how a system works, that's the point at which you start to examine every bit of nearby furniture, experiment with how high we can jump, or simply strafe in circles around whoever's explaining at us. There you are. What? You can't talk and turn? Work with me here. Look, if the game has the audacity to try to deliver important story information without a pre-rendered cutscene, this is simply the way we're going to respond, regardless of the importance of what the poor NPC, who's probably been practicing this scene for weeks, is trying to tell us. Meanwhile, let my Vortigaunt friend here give you a jolt to get you going. But just because we might seem distracted, doesn't mean we're not paying full attention. Wait, oh, hang on, where are we going? Who are we shooting? Ah, oh, it's fine, we'll pick it up on the way. Don't worry though, you've got our undivided attention. Guess what the bird's back. The bird! Out of my way! For a younger sibling, nothing is more terrifying than hand-me-down clothes. Except getting the bottom bunk. Under there is where the ghosts live. In the real world, you might have the excuse of those hand-me-downs being the wrong size. But if you're an NPC companion in our RPG party, you're out of luck. If we've decided to put you in an hilariously tacky outfit, you're going to have to live with it. 
Consider Dragon Age Inquisition, for instance, in which the heroic Inquisitor apparently has nothing better to do than crafting garments for their party members in plaid weave, a tartan so ugly it'll make your eyes bleed. Hey, it's practical. It repels electrical damage. And good taste. Potential romantic partners. Just, just repels in general. So sure, you can come on this quest with me, brave fighter, but you're going to have to do it dressed like a novelty tartan tea cozy. What? You look great. Really brings out your eyes. Your angry, angry eyes. <laughs> NPCs often get in the way when you're playing certain games, standing in doorways, blocking your path, and preventing you from getting on with important business. Thus, when a game gives you the opportunity to return the favour to an obstructive NPC, you grab that opportunity with both hands and build a wall with it to trap them. Take Minecraft for instance, a building game in which you're given a blank canvas upon which to create absolutely anything your heart desires. What about a football? Uh. Oh, a globe. Well, well kinda. How about a bicycle tyre? Yeah, okay, you can't make round things, we get it. However, you're not the only one milling around in this blocky world. Wander far enough and you can stumble across settlements full of rather adorable villagers that all sound like Squidward from Spongebob Squarepants. <sighs> These NPCs are a bit of a pain to get past when you're trying to explore, and by explore we mean root around in all their homes. But there is something you can do as payback. Wall them in. Hell, even if they don't get in your way, with this number of NPCs living in huts and your ability to imprison them with only a single block in front of their front door, the temptation is far too great. This leaves them helpless, only able to continue making their weird noises, which we now assume are cries for help. Ah. Just like that one time the others installed the door handle that a little bit too high for me and I got stuck in the studio for three days. <laughs> oh yeah, that was brilliant. Aww. Targeting. NPCs are a lot like ants. They have strong muscular thoraxes. No, wait. Uh, they love to work as a team. Indeed, friendly NPCs serve little purpose other than to aid you, the player character, sometimes going so far as to put their little coded lives on the line to make your mission a success. And yet, in any game where you are given a weapon to play with, well, there's only one thing to do, right? And that's to see what happens if we just... Friendly fire! What? The bad NPCs aren't here yet. Who else am I supposed to shoot? Nobody? It's a truth universally acknowledged that in any game involving firearms, at some moment you'll just quickly unload a round or two into your NPC teammates just to see what happens. Hey, some games don't let you. It might not even work. Is what you've certainly thought at some point before doing this. Of course, every squeeze of the trigger is also a roll of the dice, because every now and then a game will get all clever and try to show you the consequences of using your allies as target practice. What the hell are you doing? Security to the bridge. The Master Chief has gone rampant. Take him down, boys. Oh, sure, Cortana. Take everyone else's side. NPCs, the human race, that McDonald's clerk who wouldn't serve me breakfast after 10.30. All right. I'm just saying, they have all the hash browns back there. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? Oh, yeah. I heard their names, their home addresses, and where their diary keys are hidden. All right, all right, calm down. As British people, we do love a bit of sarcasm. Oh, yeah, sure we do. Oh, my goodness, I love these interjecting jokes that we do all the time. So original. Oh, my God, yeah. Just the best. So, for those of us who love to deliver a line with an eye roll so heavy it could change the Earth's rotation, games like Fallout 4 added in some wonderfully dry dialogue opportunities, with the conversation option, sarcasm. A free paper? Sounds like quality. Whenever a game gives us the option to say something so dripping in sarcasm you'd think it was in some sort of sauce made of pure sass, we jump at the chance. Not only is this inherently enjoyable for the connoisseur of cutting remarks, but you can get some delightful responses from the NPCs who don't appreciate your tone, young lady. The great clockwork dick is stumped? It's synth detective, jackass. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's much more satisfying than being downright mean, as it ticks people off without prompting them to launch into all-out combat. 
This is perfect for people like us who want to annoy NPCs without any physical consequences. Oh, that's so brilliant. We love it. Wait, Ellen, are you stuck in sarcasm mode? Yes, I am. I don't know how to get out. Please help me. I'm scared. What are you doing that for? Scraping a living inside the virtual economy of a game world is no fun at all. Sure, if you're the hero, it's all sword swinging and buckets of loot plundered from deep within tombs or the rib cages of your enemies, and as such, you've probably got gold for days. Sweet, but if your programming prohibits you from exciting adventures and instead instructs you to stand placidly behind a counter and wait for a customer, well, it's probably a little harder to get rich quick when you're at the mercy of brutal in-game economics. Please do look around. I'm sure I have something you'll want. So it would be pretty inconsiderate to steal from those NPCs, right? No, seriously, I'm asking. My sense of right and wrong is a distant memory these days. Anyway, look, shopkeep NPC, you've got some old tat left unguarded, I've got empty pockets and light fingers, so you know what, I'm just gonna have this stuff. Cool? Cool. What do you think you're doing? And hey, now we've cleared out the shelves, I wonder if there's anything left over in those pockets. Don't mind me creeping behind the till, I'm just uh, checking on some stock. Merchants in Skyrim are particularly unlucky when it comes to being robbed blind by you, because when the game first came out it was possible to both blind and humiliate NPCs by dropping a bucket or basket on top of their head. This might not be what you imagine small business ownership to be like, Lucan, but well, this is happening. Sadly, since then the game has been patched, so the bucket trick doesn't work anymore. At least not in Skyrim. I love action. <laughs> they say 10,000 hours in anything will make you an expert, which is why I'm so good at eating biscuits. <laughs> Nailed it. And in games too, practice makes perfect. Your lethal combo beatdowns are designed to be used on the hordes of bad jerks who are trying to wipe you off the face of the earth. But of course, by the time you're in the thick of it, it's too late to really hone those brutal moves. And as such, you may well be tempted to really make sure you know your way around the controls by perfecting them on, oh, let's call this fellow Brian, shall we? R.I.P. Brian. Or take Marvin here, a humble NPC spawned into a quiet street, possibly programmed to walk peacefully and without incident to his job at the toy factory, or to deliver a big box of puppy medicine to the vets. <laughs> Thanks Marvin, but I can never remember whether this particular move is on the left or right trigger button. Ooh, let's ask Reggie here, he always knows. God, I'm so sick of that. <laughs> Ooh. You know what? Shouldn't have named them. It only makes it harder to shatter their bones. So there are some of the things that we did to annoy NPCs. Are there any that we've missed? Let us know in the comments down below. Which one are you most susceptible to doing in games? I would be interested to know. I like the driving away slowly. That's my favorite. But uh, if you want to see some other things that we do on this channel, you should check out some of these videos. And if you want to see more videos like this, you should click the subscribe button. But um, I'm just going to have a little pastry now. It's going to be really good. And uh, yeah, I'm just really looking forward to it. I mean, I have no, it's going to be really good.